Hello, welcome back to Stories of the Strange. Before we go into today's story, please terrify the like button and subscribe to the channel above. Today's story is a very passionate and interesting one. We're going to talk about the Johnson family, which lived in London around 1942. The Johnson family had everything normal, everything ordinary. They had a dad who had a very prosperous business and worked for the government and a mom who was a housewife. They had five kids, which were all girl kids, and had two years gap each. These five girls actually grew up in a normal life. They went to elementary school in town. They went to primary, secondary, and finally college. Everything on went on well for the couple Johnson, and everything was fine. Mr. Johnson's business actually went on and became very prosperous, and with time, he became a very big businessman and became so wealthy, and they got into a first class life. The Johnson kids, the Johnson girls all finally went to college and had a prosperous studies. Now what happens is few years later there is an attack where the father is included in some governmental issues and the girls are all kidnapped including the mom. The dad goes on a run and he's never found. These girls and the mom actually now have to pay and everything is made for them to be actually kidnapped. Kidnappers keep making a lot of videos in order to bring the father out of wherever he is. But this does not work. They keep multiplying videos, minas, and everything around country. The whole news flies around country, but the father stays wherever he is. Now, things get really bad when the kidnappers decide to kill on camera the first daughter. This hurts the father so much that he finally decides to come out from where he is and present himself to the kidnappers. On getting the dad, the mom, and the four kids remaining, all of them were finally executed a few days later. This execution was a very, very terrifying one since it actually happened on life. Now, where this thing gets really, really scary and crazy is like 20 years later, when this woman is interpolated in another town from their hometown, from the initial story town, and she claims to be the last born of the Johnsons. Now, how could this be possible? Because all the kids and all the parents of the Johnson family were eradicated live on camera. Where it gets really very surprising is this kid is able to actually give details of everything that happened in the kidnapping spree. She's actually able to give details of the kidnapping spree. She's able to give details on their family, on their little secrets, on their reunions and everything. She even goes as far as giving details on her father's operations and the rest. Now, this is very strange because 20 years ago, everyone died in the tragic kidnap. Where it gets a little bit more scarier is the fact that this woman doesn't speak any English at all, which is still not possible. Because the Johnsons were actually British and their kids spoke both English and French. Now this woman experienced herself in Russian and French only. How could this be? Could she have forgotten her initial language? Could she have forgotten her actual natal language? Is this even possible? She was finally claimed to be mentally not very stable and put in an A-cell. In the A-cell, she was asked multiple questions and the more she actually answered the questions, the more details came out. Details that only a Johnson kid or a Johnson parent could have known. She went as far as giving and revealing some very disturbing secrets about her dad and his operations. Investigations were made for over years and still there was no proof that this kid was actually what she claimed to be. But at the same time, there was no proof that she was not. This gets very, very scary because actually there was an exoneration of all the bodies and a small test to determine if she was actually a Johnson or not. The test actually revealed themselves to be true. Now, how is this possible? How did they do this? Who do they kill? How is this possible? How did she actually have all of these details? How come... A lot of stories fused. A lot of stories fused. Some newspapers actually went ahead and made documentaries about her, asked her questions, and did not get very specific answer. She actually was coherent with the secrets, was coherent with a lot of things. But then again, she couldn't really be coherent about what happened after the kidnap, 
till when she was there, like the 20 years gap. So what happened? Finally, she was admitted in a psychiatric hospital where she was taken care of. Someday, a few years later after the admission, she actually ran away from the psychiatric hospital and was never found again. Till today, no story has been documented about her. Nobody knows her whereabouts. Nobody knows finally if she was really the one or not. Nobody could really tell. Second story of the day, we are going to talk about a little girl. This little girl was born in 2001 in a small town of Paris. This little girl actually grew up normally and she had normal parents, ordinary parents who were of middle class. The little girl actually started manifesting very strange behaviors around five years old when she started giving really very strange and specific details of things she had and she could not witness. Things she could not witness because they happened 20 years, 30 years back. In the beginning, it sounded like little child's play. It sounded like normal. It sounded like a kid that has a lot of imagination. But the details became more disturbing and more specific with time. The parents actually had more attention for this and they went closer to her and started asking her questions. They tried to hide it from other people for it not to be too loud around country, but eventually the news flew around the neighborhood. This kid was able to give details about very specific information that happened to her parents and to other people before she was born. We are talking about her being able to talk about her father's story in high school and some of the things he did that only him would have known. It becomes very disturbing when they ask this kid and she says, Ah, I have an imaginary friend. At start, every kid can have an imaginary friend and that is okay. But then again, it becomes really, really, really very disturbing when this imaginary friend starts giving you details nobody could know and that are very accurate. This thing was investigated. The kid was brought to a psychiatric place for children and she was actually interrogated. The child, all the child could say is she has an imaginary friend that comes to her every evening and speaks to her about things that happened. She too can remember some things of the past like she lived them and she believes that she has been living for a while. They tell her, no, you're six to seven years old. And she says, no, she's not six to seven years old. She gives another date of birth and she's taken for a crazy person. Now, the parents try to do their best to cover the story up, to not have a crazy girl at home and everything. But then again, the story has already fused around town and everybody has already heard about it. Uh, unfortunately for them, they can't hide it anymore and the thing spreads. It becomes out of hand when this little kid actually gives detail about a murder that happened a few years before she was born and that was never resolved. Now what is strange about this is she was able to give specific details about where exactly this murder happened, how it happened and where the cops was hidden. The police in the beginning did not really take the story serious and they were very, very, very contestant about it. But then again, they went ahead and said, okay, let's go for this investigation, of which they did. They investigated, followed all the instructions given by the little child, and finally, as crazy as it may seem, they actually found the cops. This cops was exactly where this child said it is going to be, and they could not believe their eyes. Fortunately enough for the kid and for the parents, the child is too small for any ar ar arrestation and was actually let free. But she was interrogated for a long while and investigations were properly made. How could this child have known this? How could she have been able to situate exactly where this person was? How is that even possible? No answers were gotten. No answers were gotten. Investigations carried on for a lot of months. Neighborhood tried to fuse about it. But still, no answers were gotten. Till this day, there has not been an answer or a specific reply to what exactly happened to these kids. She grew up finally and told everyone the imaginary friend had left her around the age of 12, 13 years old and could not have all these visions anymore. She finally grew up to be an ordinary person, but up to today, no one could explain what actually happened and how she was able to actually have these visions for this number of years. It is said that maybe reincarnation, we never know. 
Thank you for following up. See you in the next episode for another strange and very critical story.